you can either bring them towards your chest or you can have them facing out, whatever they're comfortable doing. And what you're gonna do is we'll start on the right foot and we'll place our right foot at a 90 degree angle. I'm gonna touch the basket. Yeah. Sorry. The floor's clean, I just cleaned the floor. Okay, so we'll start with our front foot um, as close to the top top of the mat as you can at about a 90 degree angle. And then your back foot is gonna jump back at about, a, and it's gonna face at a 45. Yeah, 45 degree angle. And you may need to adjust, because what we wanna do is square our hips towards the front of the room. So this is the easy part of it. And if you need to, uh, if you need to jump your back foot over towards the edge of the mat mm -hmm. to square your hips a little bit more towards the center, that is, that's ideal. So from here, we've got our shoulder blades coming together, squared hips. We're gonna just bend our right knee at a 90 degree angle. Now from here, especially if you have a small baby, your baby can sit on your leg, if you want them to, or they can be up towards your chest. Or if you have a wiggle worm, man, bring them towards your chest. So we've got our knee at a 90 degree angle, and then your remaining arm, only if you feel comfortable, you can bring straight up. This is warrior one. So make sure that your back leg is engaged and your glutes are engaged. That way you're really maximizing the pose and you're not putting everything on your front leg. And this is warrior one. You're gonna allow your shoulder blades to come together. And if your baby doesn't look comfortable, you can bring them towards your chest and you don't have to have your arm. Just deciding what's good for your baby. And our next posture is in our legs remain the same. And we're just gonna wind our top arm around for warrior two. Now this time, our hips are squared to the side. Mm -hmm. And our gaze can be right in front of us. <laughs> now from our warrior two, we can bring our babies to our chest. Mm -hmm. Your baby's already to the chest. And we'll straighten our front leg, and we'll turn both feet so they're parallel up to the side. And from here, we're just gonna hinge at the hips. The baby comes with us. So your spine is long, shoulder blades are coming together. And then we're just gonna bend opposite knees. So we'll start by lengthening the left leg, bending towards the right, coming down. And then on the left. You may not come down too far, and your baby may like to fly and be super cool instead. And your movements can be as fast or as slow as you'd like. It's a good thing to do while you're waiting for something to happen, <laughs> waiting for laundry to dry, waiting in line somewhere. Really great for your inner thighs, for your glutes. And then we can come back up to center. And from here, we'll take, um, probably the easiest way to do this is going to be just to, oh, we're already doing it. So we'll switch. We'll split the left, left leg out at a 90 degree, left foot out at a 90 degree angle. Right foot at a 45 towards the edge of the mat. So if you want to switch it over there. Yeah, and then at a 45 degree. So kind of, oh, no, towards me a little bit. There you go. So then you just invite your shoulder blades to come together. Hi, buddy. And then we bend our front knee at a 90 degree angle. Yeah, you sit on mommy's knee, like a horsey. Like a horsey. And then if, only if you're comfortable, you can put your hand up. If he, he seems happy like that, so you can be right there. And that's perfectly fine. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yeah. It's something different. That's something different. And then we can take our top right arm and come out to the side, or you can just open up your hips. Hi. Just allow your shoulder blades to come together. Both feet 
toward the center. Hi, honey. I know. I know. It's so hot. And then we'll do this. Yeah, and you can even let him dance like that, too, while you go back and forth. That gives you a little bit of a break from the weight of holding him. And then when you're ready, you can come back to the center. 